A Canadian team drowned, not in rain, but in champagne, just in Crips and the boys. Uh, uh, comfortable to say, I think, way exceeding anything you've ever done here in Samaritz in a four man. Congratulations on an epic win. Thank you. Yeah, we, we haven't had the best luck here in, uh, in St. Moritz, but this is one of our biggest moments as a team, winning a gold in St. Moritz in four man. I mean, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. We're a little bit drowned in champagne, <laughs> but I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Well, listen, you smell like winners, but it's not great in the eyes, is it? No, uh, but you know what? It's worth the win, so we, we'll take it. <laughs> you see why they wear goggles now. Yeah. <laughs> Big weekend for you, Ben. First uh, commentary, and now your first win in Samaritz. Yeah, you know, the commentary really uh, it really gave me that extra push uh, today. And i got to say, the champagne in the face, it's, it's champagne air here. You know, it's been champagne all week, and, and this truly is the biggest win I think we've had as a team. And, yeah. man, we're, we're pumped for uh, World Champs coming up. Well, Cam, that's the big deal next up. The World Championships is in three weeks, but you've got to get yourselves ready for that. Where are you off to next? We're going to hit uh, Altenburg for a few days and then Segolda and hopefully have some good two-man races there leading the World Champs and, um, you know, rest up, get healthy, and, and hopefully have the same, uh, same appearance in Altenburg. Well, Justin, do you always say to everybody back home in Canada, thanks for watching. The message now for the World Champs is? Keep watching. We're going to do something big there. Keep watching, Dan. <laughs> Here we go.